Hey YouTube, it's Donna back with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be listing the pros and cons of going and being enrolled in Morgan State University. So just to give y'all some background, Morgan State is a HBCU in Baltimore, Maryland. It's the spring semester and I'm a freshman and I'm about to go into my sophomore year and I'm just going to help all the transfer students or even incoming freshmen that are planning or thinking about coming to Morgan and I just want to help y'all know what y'all get into before y'all come and that's not a bad thing I'm just informing y'all of what actually happens at Morgan because you really don't know until you get there and me personally I wish that I knew this knew these things before coming in and finding them out now but they're not that bad so I have a list of pros and cons on my phone so I'm starting with pros Morgan has a beautiful campus. That is definitely a pro. Morgan is always working on renovating their campus, getting new buildings, redoing buildings, make sure it's really nice. It's also very modern. I don't like when I see colleges that look like they were still built from the 1960s or 1860s. Like Morgan is literally constantly redoing their campus. And it just makes it physically pleasing and like I just like whenever I get up I just like dang this campus is so pretty and like when I first visited that was the first thing that caught my attention I'm like oh my god it's so nice like the campus let me also tell y'all that it is an open campus so anyone can come in anyone can walk in so yeah it's not a private campus next one is that there's chick-fil-a on campus chick-fil-a is like the only full spot we have other than the calf which Y'all are not going to want to eat at the calf every day. Let me tell y'all. I barely eat at the calf. I eat at the calf. Like, I, I can't even tell y'all. I barely eat at the calf. But y'all are going to want to want something other than the calf. And y'all are going to find yourselves going to Chick-fil-A a lot. Like, I go to Chick-fil-A a lot. You have free access to the library. But you do have to show your bear card. So, if you're bringing someone that can't, that don't go to Morgan or is your family member, they cannot get into the library unless showing their bear card. Another pro is that they have scooters on campus, so if you don't feel like walking while it's hot outside and nice, you can literally scoot around on a little scooter, but you do have to pay for them. Like, nothing is free in this world, so don't think, don't come to campus think, thinking that you're going to get a scooter for free, unless somebody didn't forgot to turn theirs off or something. But people also bring their own scooters so that they don't have to pay for them, but and they just pay for it themselves which is actually kind of smart because you don't got to keep paying but i've never paid for a scooter which is nice and they also have a free morgan shuttle which just takes you back from place to place especially if you live off campus the shuttles come and pick you up from morgan's off campus apartments or hotels that they offer if you are in an apartment that's not offered by morgan then you will not have access to the shuttle and you just have to find your own way back on campus and to campus um, it is also close to a lot of things. This also goes back to like the food part, like Chick-fil-A. So like we're really close to a place called Towson, which is like 10, 15 minutes away from campus. And Towson got a bunch of malls, a bunch of shopping places, restaurants. They have a movie theater over there. They have a lot of stuff. Like all the stuff is in Towson, which is really nice. Um, there's also lots of businesses. Which, like, if you have a hair business, a nail business, you do lashes, waxes, you have a clothing brand, a jewelry brand, you do, you're a barber, all of that. You're going to make good money on campus. So if you know how to do hair and you're not promoting it yet, start doing hair, make a hair page, and you will get some money or make some extra money while you're on campus doing hair, nails, lashes, all that. Like, you will make bunch of extra money and you just gotta promote your business like put it out there if you have a clothing brand go to the business stuff and just promote your business there's also like group we group chats within within your dorm building put that in there put all the information in there that you need so that you can promote your own business because why not make some extra money while you're on college campus Another pro is it's a lot of parties and with parties is homecoming which homecoming is so lit y'all like homecoming was the funnest thing funnest week of my life like I literally the whole week you be you know it's so fun it literally is so fun you have the time of your life and everyone's coming like alumni family everyone's there and it's just so lit it's just so it's like so fun 
um with parties there's literally a party for everything like yeah literally a party for everything when it's darty season it's a bunch of darties which most of the darties happen in the beginning of the fall semester and the end of the spring so like right now is darty season is coming up like there's a darty there's a darty two days ago i think or yesterday um like there's lots of parties so don't be upset if you miss a couple in the beginning because there, it's literally like 500 other parties i'm not even kidding it's 500 other parties for the rest of the semester um there's a lot of work study opportunities internships and scholarship opportunities um like y'all get them scholarships do them extra essays for those scholarships go go get them internships go to meetings you know just do all that especially like i'm planning on doing an internship this summer so i could just be ahead and get one over with so i can like i just want to start early so i have options and it looks good on my resume but yeah make sure you do all that like just try to get all the resources you need because these four years or however many years when you get there it's gonna go by super fast like this my freshman year went by so fast like literally like that like <laughs> it literally went by so fast and i wasn't expecting it to be this fast and so i'm like if my freshman year was this fast i know the other next three years are gonna go by super super fast um there's also lots of sports opportunities because they don't really like recruit or give offers since it's an hbcu and they don't really have the money to afford to give a lot of offers and full rides and everything so there's lots of like you can just try try out for teams so the cheer team basketball all that like they literally have all that so if you do anything and you're playing on it please try out don't feel bad because i didn't recruit you send you offer just try out for the team and you most likely will get on if you're really good um Another pro is that there's a lot of online options for class, so you can choose to be online or in person, which is really nice. And adding and tagging along with that, there's a you have an option on certain classes. Not with every class, they have to give you the option, and you will you will see when you like join the class. But you have the option to test out of a class, which is literally the best thing ever. I had done it about three times or two times, so I didn't have to take math this year and i did not have to take this digital literacy class which was really super easy um you basically just go in one day and take a test and if you pass the passing grade then you don't have to take the class and you receive all the credits and your hours for that course and you're all good like you don't have to worry about taking that again um and yeah wait i have a couple more pros i just have to find them um Another pro is that you can live off campus as a freshman and you can also have your car on campus as a freshman, which how many of your universities is doing that? Because there's not a lot. Like when I was looking at schools at other places my senior year of high school, there was a lot of places where they like you can't have your car. You can't um you can't live off campus as a freshman. But at Morgan, you can do whatever. If you can live off campus, you can have your car. Just make sure you buy that parking pass because you will get a ticket. They have been ticketing people like crazy. So make sure you get a parking pass because they'll try to ticket you if you don't. We got a lot of this change. Wow. But that's super good. Mm. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to go into the cons. The cons of Morgan. Let me see. Okay. One of the cons is visitation. You do not get visitation at that's a lot. So one one of the major cons is that it's visitation. You get visitation, but it is very, very limited. Meaning that we have a certain time that people can come in and a certain time that people have to leave. And if they do not leave by that time, you will get a citation. You have to pay for that citation. Which why are you trying to pay the money for, you know? So make sure you're on time with that. Another thing is with visitation, can't bring no outside people. Like people outside of board, you cannot go in unless you sneak them in and then you also risk getting the citation for that. So if you have families and friends that's not that don't go to Morgan, like literally just family and friends, they cannot come into your door. They cannot. Unless you're moving out, maybe. Who knows? Um but yeah, but times are like you like visitation starts at 12 p.m. every day of the week and it ends at different times 
on the weekend but it's mainly like from 12 to 10 30 on weekdays 10 to 12 a.m friday and saturday and 12 to 11 p.m on sundays i believe but yeah it's very irritating like i just wish that people could come in on their own time leave at their own time especially since most universities don't really care about visitation but it's whatever another thing is the food sucks <laughs> like i do not like the calf just because the food do not always be hidden but the food is not that good y'all i'm not even gonna lie don't don't rely on the food it's not that good <laughs> Um, another one is that the teachers don't really come to class like teachers don't care so that kind of comes back to you and makes you not want to care either but you always make sure that you show up to class even if the teacher don't but you would want them to email you first but the teachers don't show up to class a lot so don't be surprised when you're sitting down with class and your professor don't show up um another one is that it's a lot of drama y'all it's a bunch of drama like and people always just fine. You think at this grown age, people would not be fighting, but no, they be fighting all the time. Like we're grown as heck. Why are you trying to fight? Why are you trying to have a shootout? Like it's enough. It's enough. Enough is enough. Is enough. Is enough. <laughs> but me personally, I'm not in no drama, and I never had to fight on campus because that's embarrassing. Me personally, I don't want to fight. Um, it's an organized like every other HBCU. So, but that's a kind, but. Everybody used to every HBCU being organized and with being unorganized, a couple things are it takes forever to get housing. I know this year the incoming freshmen of 27 are getting their housing pretty quickly. Like I know people that are incoming freshmen for next year and they already have their housing when we didn't get ours till after our orientation in August. So like they're moving differently. They also can't pick a roommate. I know lots of people that are like, oh, I want to pick a roommate. You cannot pick a roommate. You find out your roommate the day of. That's how we got it. I don't know if that's going to change. But you can't pick your roommate and you find out the day of. And it, and it is what it is. But most people end up getting room changes because their many roommates don't get along. So if you don't get along with your roommate, it's, it's normal. Lots of people don't get along with their roommates. But a lot of people do. Um, the dorms are also disgusting. Except for the new one. But the new one still has its problems too because they have cold showers all the time. But there's mold in the dorms, there are bugs in the dorms, and it's also dirty, dirty showers. The showers are dirty. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to add on anything. Mm -mm. Um, there's also a bunch of water leaks and when campus has to take, or some parts of campus don't have power. And it just depends. It just depends on what they're doing, the construction. Because they're always doing a bunch of construction, but... There's going to be times that the power isn't working, Wi-Fi isn't working, all of that. Another con is that if you get mail, you have to walk all the way across campus unless you're in Thurgood Marshall Hall. Because Thurgood Marshall has their own mail room since they're a new dorm building. But all the other buildings are old and you have to walk across campus to Montebello or Montebello to go pick up your packages, which is irritating. Um, but I have a few more pros that I missed, which there's lots of organizations as... I don't know if this was the angle it was at last time, but my camera battery died and I'm using my sister's now. But as I was saying, there's lots of organizations like sororities and fraternities. And just a lot of clubs and organizations that you can join in. They're just really good clubs. I have like fashion clubs, dance clubs, all this down through yeah that's most of the things that's most of the pros and cons about morgan state if you have any questions about morgan state and if you're planning to go and you know certain things and just anything just feel free to dm me comment anything y'all my socials are in the description down below and make sure to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified whenever i post bye y'all